Hi, and welcome to this video where I'll be covering Vention's smart safety modules. To start off, a safety module allows you to incorporate existing safety components like what you see on the table over here in the same plug and play manner that you're used to using with the rest of Vention's automation ecosystem. Today, the five modules that I'll be covering are the muting, mode switching, robot safety, auto reset, and access request module. Each smart safety module includes an LED light to indicate its current state. There are four different colors indicating five different states. A green light indicates that everything is good and there's no issues along the safety chain. A solid red light indicates that there has been a stop event somewhere along the safety chain, and a blinking red light indicates a stop event from that specific module. A blinking blue light indicates that that module is carrying out its specific function, and a yellow light indicates a fault at that module that will most likely require a reset. These modules are designed in such a way that they can be daisy-chained to create a single continuous safety system. For now, let's start off with the muting safety module. This module is primarily used in situations to allow pass-through of product through a safety system, oftentimes light curtains, without triggering a safety stop. This module is commonly used in palletizing to allow the passage of boxes into the cell via the conveyors. It functions by triggering a set of sensors in a specific order, which will momentarily mute the primary safety sensor, allowing the pass-through of product without triggering a stop event. If the secondary sensors are not triggered in the appropriate order, crossing the light curtain will trigger a stop event requiring a reset. And with that, let's move on to the next one, the mode switching module. This module allows automation cells to have a small window for operators to perform momentary tasks within the cell without triggering a safety stop event that will require a hard reset. This is done through dual stage sensing. An example of this is in the manual tending of a CNC. Once the machine has completed its operation and it's in its home position, verified via a secondary safety rated sensor, an operator can then reach in safely to replace the finished part without triggering a stop event from the light curtains, the primary sensor. With this, the machine can then continue its operation. If an operator were to cross the light curtains at any other time when the machine is not in its home position, triggering the secondary safety rated sensor, the machine will automatically trigger a stop event that will require a hard reset. Let's now take a look at the robot safety module. The robot safety module is quite simple in that it allows you to interface almost any robot brand with existing safety equipment to a machine motion controller. Next, let's see the auto reset and reduce speed module. This module is used in conjunction with the robot safety module plugging into the reduce speed port. It allows operators to automatically activate and deactivate the reduce speed mode on cobots via a three zone safety system. An example of this would be an area scanner for a cobot tending cell. Once an operator enters the zone, the robot will reduce its operating speed. Once an operator leaves the cell, the robot will resume full speed after a set interval. It should be noted that the operator must leave the cell in the same way that they entered, triggering the zones in the same but reversed order. If the sequence is not respected, the robot will have to be manually reset to resume full operating speed. Finally, I'll cover the access request module. This module is used in situations where operators are required to safely access the operating area of an automated machine. The operator will request access, triggering the module to send this command to the machine, telling it to complete its cycle and home. Once the machine has been homed and is safe for operator entry, the safety interlock will disengage, allowing access. This is verified via safety rated sensors. To reset the cell, the interlock must be re-engaged and a lock button pressed. This will indicate to the machine that it can resume operation. Each module can interface with up to four safety interlocks, and if more are required, the modules can be daisy-chained. And that concludes our video on our smart safety modules. For any additional information, such as wiring diagrams and technical documentation, you can refer to our resource center on Vention.com.